Um, I think the important thing to do when you get a bug is to slow down and explain what you're thinking about. Do a, doing um, thinking aloud, um, folks. There's this uh, paper called Cognitive Apprenticeship by um, let's see, it's uh, Ant uh, Alan Collins and John C. Lee Brown and Paul DeGuid. Um And Cognitive Apprenticeship really influenced me when I was doing my dissertation. The idea is that a cognitive apprenticeship is challenging. The traditional apprenticeship has a lot of pieces to it. Uh, the master is going to model a particular activity. The apprentice watches what happens and then, and then replicates it with the, with the apprentice coaching. But when you're talking about cognitive activities like mathematics or reading or computer science, you can't see the cognition going on. And so it's really important for the teacher to, to make obvious, to make explicit what their thinking processes are so that the student can, can follow along and learn from it. And it's really hard to do because I know for myself, you get a bug in class. I mean, you know, you probably get this too on your teaching evaluations. It was so nice of Professor Guzdal to make those mistakes in order to demonstrate to us how to correct them. No, no, no. I just make mistakes, right? There's nobody in the world who can hack in front of a hundred people and not make mistakes. And my first inclination is, oh crud, what did I do here? How do I fix this? But I, I gotta realize that it's a teachable moment. Exactly. I don't want to hide, right? I want to say, oh, okay, wait a minute. This is what I thought was happening, or this is the typo that I made. This is what's really happening. Here's how I'm going to fix it. And you've got to say it in terms that your audience, your students, are going to understand. Because it's really easy for you to simply jump to a conclusion, oh, that, 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 oh, I know what it is, fix. Right? When that's not going to help the students very much. It's really hard for experts to make explicit the knowledge which is innate, which they've done so often, you know, poof, you immediately see where the semicolon is, is missing, or poof, you immediately see where you have the, the type mismatch. Um, but for the students, that's the opportunity to slow down and say, oh, okay, it could be this, it could be this, here's the evidence that it's actually this, what's my fix, I could try this, I'll actually try that. It, making that explicit is really important for the students when you're doing live coding. 